In 1815, Mount Tambora erupted in what is now Indonesia with a volcanic velocity index of 7. This was the most powerful volcanic eruption in over 1300 years. The eruption killed more than 70,000 people, and the ash from the eruption dispersed around the world and blocked the sun's energy, creating a volcanic winter. This led to the year 1816 to be known as a year without summer. Global temperatures dropped by at least half a degree Celsius, which might not sound like much, but it was enough to completely devastate the world's agricultural supplies. Historian John Post famously referred to this time period as the last great sustenance crisis of the Western world. To save you time, I won't go into specifics of the agricultural disaster. I'll put a screenshot of the Wikipedia page detailing its destruction if you're interested. The important thing to know is that the temperatures are freezing in the northeastern region of the United States, and that the crops are dying from frost for the entire summer. Even at the end of August, farmers had to keep replanting their plants. This video is being uploaded on June 12, 2019. It's 74 degrees Fahrenheit right now, and exactly 203 years ago on June 12, 1816, a non-Trinitarian Christian sect of farmers were forced to replant their crops because of its cold damage. The year without summer was an odd devastation and starvation, however. Some good things did come out of the freezing cold. The particles in the atmosphere had the effect of making sunsets more colorful than usual. Artists all over were inspired to capture this beauty. Painter J. M. W. Turner is famous for his sunset paintings during this time. It's thanks to these works of art that we're able to experience the beauty of these ashen sunset. The writer Mary Shelley was visiting Lord Byron that summer, and trapped in Geneva with a bitter cold discouraging outdoor exploration, they quickly grew bored. Lord Byron suggested that they have a competition to see who can write the best ghost story, which Mary Shelley won with the famous book Frankenstein.